Good morning, everybody. It's Labor Day. It's beautiful. It's not hot. It's cool. The sun is shining. I have a really great show. I want to thank my guests for coming here on Labor Day. I uh, appreciate that you're here, and it's nice to have you. Uh, today, the first thing we do on the show is there's a day on September 6th that stands for things. Of course, today is Labor Day. Thank you for all the service for all the people out there. It is Fight Procrastination Day, which means if you're a procrastinator, stop procrastinating. I actually do a class on procrastination, if anybody ever wants me to do it. And, you know, it's as simple as, you know, you have to repeat what you're doing and stop pro procrastinating and move forward because when you procrastinate, nothing happens. So today is Fight Procrastination Day, and it's also National Coffee Ice Cream Day which means today you guys should have some coffee ice cream. Interesting. <laughs> we'll we'll okay. remember next time. Yes. So every day, a lot of people don't realize, stands for a national day. And so I do that research before every show because it's nice. If I had time, I would have brought coffee ice cream today. But I see that our friend here from Mia's restaurant brought us a lot of nice food. So, again, thank you very much. Thank um, you. And it's nice to have you. I'm missing my friend Greg. Obviously, you, you didn't meet him yet, but this is Greg. He's my co-host. He's right now recuperating from some surgery. Well. And uh, we always, you know, I will never take him off the stage because he'll be back. And I miss him a lot. And this is the man why I have the show. Because originally we were in a caravan. We used to go to diners every morning for breakfast. And I didn't have a home. And then when I met this gentleman right in West Hempstead, in the town, at the dry cleaners, we started to converse and look at this great place. The club is Greg's. I do the show here with Greg. The show is ours together. But the show, the club is available for any parties. And it's a very nice place to have something casual, yet kooky and different. So <laughs> Greg, we miss you, and we're all hoping to see you soon. So let's with Miss Laura Parlka. Hi, how, how are we you? met? Oh my God, I used to work with this woman in technology world. Yes. And I understand you're in the technology yes, world I too. Yes, I am. So what, is, what a connection already. <laughs> CMP. That's a small word, huh? CMP Media. <laughs> wow. Magazine yeah. industry, yeah, all yeah, 28 yeah. magazines of technology. I was yeah. there for a very long time. I loved my job. And uh, she tracked me down. Yes. We were uh, designers and builders of exhibits, and we handled the accounts, set the exhibits up at all of the trade shows, a very large uh, space that was uh, filled to capacity. Amazing. I used to love those shows. <laughs> My first day at that job many years ago, I was at a Meet the Editor event, and I actually was training the gentleman from Shark Tank when he had a column on our newspaper. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's how long ago, but that's, wow. he was a columnist. And now look at him. He owns all those sports companies. Yeah. You know what I mean, that, that, right? That's amazing, yeah. Yeah, he's un unbelievable. I can't think of his name for a minute, but anyway, so it goes a long way. So thank you for coming. We're going to yes. talk to you in a minute. I want to also welcome Adria Cerecia, right? Thank you. <laughs> this wonderful lady I did not know last time I met you. You have all these beautiful, exotic lingerie items. Hopefully yes. you'll come back and show us more. Yes. But we're happy to have you visit today. And you're married to this wonderful man, <laughs> Liv <laughs> Le yeah. you, Lou. Yes. Liv Lou, you. who owns Mia's restaurant in Valley Stream. And I understand... You are from the technology industry. Yes, I am. I'm, uh, you know, an engineer as a career, um, and uh, I work in um, financial industry for uh, financial uh, banks and, um, you know, uh, in telecommunications. And this uh, is unbelievable, really. Yeah. So you know, everything comes back full circle in yeah. life, really does. Yeah. And it's um, amazing. Yes, and I was in your restaurant. And you were so nice to me. Yeah. I was giving out my little cards, annoying people, <laughs> but they were very nice. They liked them. Yeah. So hopefully your staff is going to learn about the show. They're going to see you on the show on live Facebook, and we're going to become partners of some some type. We're Who overdue knows? to come back to the restaurant, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, we also have a visit from Bob D'Amato. He's going to be stepped on later, and he's going to be talking about when he's going to be singing at the restaurant. 
It's actually, uh, I think, at the end of the month, uh, you'll be, uh, you'll be there. I think so. <laughs> we I, I think wait. he's coming in uh, in September, 25th and October 30th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to be inviting everybody on on the Facebook to come. So um, let's talk a little bit with Laura first. 100 women that care about Long Island. I am so excited. I'm going to be part of it. So let's talk about it. I am thrilled that you're going to be a part of it. Aww. We <laughs> we, um, we know that you are a promoter, that you are uh, you are the mayor of Long Island, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and we are so excited about having you and uh, involved with 100 women who care about Long Island. We are a giving circle, and it is uh, during COVID, we did lose some of our members, so we're anxious to get back up to 100 women. And we actually do a little bit of a Shark Tank presentation. Get out of town! Yes, yeah, so oh we, my have, God. we have about 99 different charities that are vetted. So this means that they are have a 501c3, that they're in good standing, and that they service the community of Nassau and Suffolk County, Long Island. So. Everyone uh, goes into the bucket. We pick three, and we do. Uh, we have them do a presentation on on what they can use the money for, and then the members make a vote. And to become a member, you just uh, go to our website, 100wwcli.org, and you make a commitment to write a check for $100 four times a year. That's really and not expensive. But we also, and 100% goes to the charity that wins. We all we use Grow Fund. The money is donated through Grow Fund. We write a grant. And uh, we do take two-person teams so that we can make it easier for younger people to get involved. So two people can join for 50 yes. uh, each. Yep. And businesses, it's great. Women in business would be great for them. You probably might want to be one to come on, on the team <laughs> because there's going to be a lot of women that are going to be coming to the grand opening, which Absolutely. is next weekend, right? Next week, next S Monday, September 13th. Yeah. We will be at the Art League of Long Island, which is beautiful. Absolutely. And we are launching the planning for our 2022 nonprofit showcase. It's a little bit of a happy hour and to acknowledge our sponsors and our uh, our sponsors and our volunteers. They're just amazing. Great. Wow. To date we have donated over a hundred and thirty four thousand dollars to Long Island charities. Wow. And you can listen to us every Saturday morning on one oh three point nine FM. We broadcast out of MacArthur Airport. Which is great. I was just there. I did a show there with Greg three weeks ago, and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely right phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. We and we bring on our, our uh, charities. We talk about the work they're doing. We talk about their fundraising efforts because we all have to work together, and these people are amazing for the work that they do for the people of Long Island. So now if a charity is not in your group, can they join? Can how did they become one of the charities to be picked? Absolutely. Any nonprofit organization that services the Long Island community can go to our website, www.100wwcli.org. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is just click on nominate a charity, fill in the information, and then that goes to our steering committee. They vet the charity again to make sure that the money that we're making grants to goes to a viable right, organization. A, a so we're doing all the, the research for everyone and um, and four times a year. But does the charity have to pay the fee or no? Just nope. the people that join to be part of the group that decides. Exactly. Right. Our members our members commit and we do have some sponsors that help us with our administrative costs for yeah, of course. little hors d'oeuvres and a little wine. And uh, when we meet, we have been doing during COVID, we've been doing Zoom meetings. Yeah. So we're going to, uh, right now we're having the spring and fall live events just to get Which to I meet think and is great. say hello. Everybody's going to see each other. Yep. We're going to have a drink. We're going to have a snack. We're going to see our sponsors' items for it's gifts. Right. It's going to be a reunion. Beautiful. We have Joanne Mirror Designs. We have Scrubs Body for personal care. 
absolutely phenomenal products. So each vendor is <clears throat> going to have a table, basically? Yes. So if yes. somebody wanted to become a vendor, uh -huh. you know, like because they want to show their product and give out their cards, what's the cost for that? Is that a sponsorship cost for that day or? We do a sponsorship for the whole year. So oh, okay. it includes the nonprofit showcase. It includes okay. our two live it, events. Oh, so And then we do a lot of social media promotion for oh, them. Oh, so what kind of is it Make expensive? It on the is it different oh, no, levels? It's $250 for the year. That's very good. Yeah, very I work with a lot of charities, so I know. I'm very happy to be joining this because, well, I love people. And also at the show, we work for charities as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And it's all about promoting each other and helping each other. And what I like about it for me is it's further. So my, my pull in Suffolk will be better for me and better for other people because eventually you can do anything you need on the Internet. Well, we really, really want to create win-win situations. It's mm -hmm. my philosophy that if anything is just one way, it doesn't work. No. It's everybody you get what you give. That's yes. life. Yes. Yeah. That's life in general. Right. Wow, this is terrific, really. So. I'm so happy you came. And it's your holiday and you came, which I'm sure you have a lot of cooking to do. Yes. So thank you for coming and happy My holiday. My pleasure. And I'm looking forward to working together. And I've already discussed it with some people. People can just come to visit on the 13th, right? They don't have to. Absolutely. It's free. It's a nice night out. And the actual f facility where we're going, they have all kinds of art. And you can view the, uh, the art at the same time. Or is it just one specific area where we're going to be in. So we have the gallery that we're going to be hosting our event in the gallery. However, we don't have an exhibition in the gallery at that time. We wanted people to see what, what, the, what the canvas is. So because it's our open house and we'll be giving tours of the space because I'll be working with the Art League of Long Island to bring events so that we can have a flexible space, whether it's a special occasion, it Could is anything, a, right? an, a, a lecture, if it is an educational opportunity, Which the I'm space can be that. used <laughs> for that. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of training that you could have in this. So people that are out there listening, you know, if you have a, any kind of a class, if you have a product, anything like that, this is going to be the new way to meet halfway in Nassau and Suffolk. And every woman that decides to become new to the organization, if you get four or five women in your group in your town, that's how this is going to get organized, right? Absolutely. So let's say the town of West Hampstead needs one woman with four other women together, and then they make help make the decision on the charity, correct? And they can get started in recruiting members and, and having, we want to have at the end of 10 years, my goal is to have 20 giving circles in all of Long Island. We have, we have the population to service it. We have unbelievable non-for-profit organizations. They I mean, need us. It's, it's incredible the work they do. They, I mean, they're not affiliated. Some of them are not affiliated with national organizations. They service their community, like uh, Three Village Meals on Wheels just won the grant that the last quarter. We have uh, we have the the uh, Paige Keeley Foundation that's helping to bring much needed uh, scanning services that can prevent the death of a child right. uh, to the community. We have people that are helping women to cope and survive with uh, breast cancer. Right. It's all it's just amazing, right? Amazing. It's terrific. I'm very excited. I I know a lot of my friends are probably going to be interested in. Just, well, you got a free happy hour next uh, Monday <laughs> night, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, no, we're, and there's going to be a prize donated by the Long Island Breakfast Club show. We're making a really nice basket, and somebody's going to win it, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so we have a lot of Absolutely. great things that are going to be happening. And really, ladies out there, come next Monday. Come to Dix Hills. You're going to see a beautiful center. You're going to meet great women, and women help women. And men can come too. Of course, men can come. <laughs> Absolutely. We, have, we uh, you know, we are. Uh, we Actually, it's a good idea if men come. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We have. Uh, um, <clears throat> we're a family organization, and and it is. Uh, it's just a great group of women, and I'm going to be so happy to be introducing <laughs> our steering committee, the the women who just were so innovative. I mean, we have a production team, we have a program manager. We uh, social media. It's just all of these talents that these women bring to 
uh, to get this work done and, and bring money to the, the nonprofits it's that need great. it so much. It's a great program, 100 women. I mean, guys, come on, let's get it going. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Would you say the website is again? It is 100wwcli.org. That's it, guys. Check it out. <laughs> and if you want to come, just call me. Tell me you're coming. I'll set it in for you. I'll set it up for you. I'll be there. A lot of uh, women from the Breakfast Club are coming and from businesses, which don't you want to meet some new people? Hey, it's important. New people breed good things. People that give, give back, and it's a, it's a great family. My life, all my life, since I'm with CMP, I was always involved in the community because the company would give you days off if you went out and helped somebody. Yeah, yeah. So I had a lot of time off at CMP. <laughs> but it was a great program. And uh, any employer that does that for a person, it's just, it's truly a really great thing. We even have a company called V from Israel that has a software application for companies that want to do a social service program and let their employees volunteer and it keeps a record of the hours that they put in and the results wow. and and it's a great program they provide volunteers for us at no cost and nonprofits on Long Island can sign up and and get those volunteers wow. for free then they're matchmakers well i'm sure no one knows about that a lot of people, I'm sure, you know. Absolutely. I didn't know they about it, and I up. usually know about a lot. I never heard of V. I should yeah. know it. It's my name, Valentina V. I should have known it. Everyone should know about V. They're absolutely amazing. V's are good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Laura. We'll come back to you in a little bit. Thank you. And now we have this beautiful woman here. I love your hair. I love long thank hair. You. I can't thank keep you. long hair because my hair is gets, gets messy. So let's talk about in time design. Did I say that right? I, in team, in, in team, team by design. In team by design. Yes. I was in. I was there talking to your husband. I didn't know about this. Is this new? Yes. Uh, around three months we started. So beautiful, exotic lingerie. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to post everything, but I'm looking at these two beautiful things that we're going to shoot to it in a minute. How did this get started? You're from Brazil? Yes, I'm from Brazil. And you live there at one point, or you just do a lot of, you know, like you live here now. So Yes. So you your s products come from Brazil? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. I love the two that uh, we'll, I'm looking at right here. Beautiful. Yeah, they are beautiful, beautiful items. Uh, yes, so let's talk about quality it. Amazing too. You have lingerie of all kind. Beautiful yes. sleepwear, beautiful underwear, beautiful yes. underpants. I mean, sexy nightgowns, uh -huh. everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. You have slippers too. I mean, do you does it match? You have slippers too that match uh, everything. I'm <laughs> sure now, no, but not yet. In the future. In the future. Yes. So you're doing this three months. Yeah, I run three months. And how do you order it? And where do you see everything on the website? You're going to be showing in a few weeks, the products. Like you sent me a lot of products. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was. Uh, Everything is gorgeous. I definitely yes, want to buy it's one. Gorgeous. Um, but if someone wants to see the product, mm -hmm. you'll have a website up very soon. Uh, yeah, very, very soon. Like in about mm -hmm. a week or two. Yeah. But you know, uh, now we have the Instagram. Oh, you're on Instagram. Yes. Okay. At what? What's the Instagram title? Intim by Design. In time, by in team by design. In team by design. I n t i m e. By design. Yeah. By design on yes. Instagram. Yes. Okay. Oh, I am. Okay. I-N-T-I-M by design. Yes. Okay. Yes, let's let's take a look at these beautiful dresses and let's talk about them. Well, these are not dresses. These are a quality lingerie. Yes, oh. I like quality. Yeah. I like the long one, but I'm sure many women will like the short one better. Depends on your body. Yeah. Yeah, I like the long one. I love the color. It's beautiful. And... Um, Obviously, you probably have a tank for underneath, a, a nice yeah, tank. Yeah, I, I bring some there. Yes, and then the black one is actually very elegant. It's blue, isn't it? Yes, yeah. isn't it? Maybe. Or what do you think? Dark Aren't they blue. pretty? I think they're gorgeous. Yeah. They are gorgeous. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah. Really, really. And the soft. fabrics yeah. and the and the seams. Very soft. Very, yeah. Yeah. Very and the, nice. The uh, workmanship, I know, from Brazil is absolutely phenomenal. Oh. And that yeah. effect... I had heard at some point in time that even uh, 
Raf, uh, Ralph Lauren garments were done by the uh, seamsters in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Very, very nice. I'm glad you brought us at least two samples. Maybe we could have you come back sometime when we can do a little show. Yes. Would that be maybe. nice? Yeah, maybe we could get Yeah, she, she, yeah. she has you know, lots of products you know, that are uh, really unbelievable. And you have a lot of clients already, I heard. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how, how, how do you do your word of mouth? Just chatting, talking to people? and. Yeah, I have one um, store online. Oh, you have a store online? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So what's that called? And is is the ancient by design? Is can you explain, please? Yeah. So uh, we are. I have uh, somebody in Brazil who. We are uh, we are in the process of um, opening our e-commerce. Um, you know, we uh, have a domain, uh, intimbydesign.com, um, where uh, it's going to be live in about a week, uh, hopefully. Um, there's so much programming and so many details <laughs> to be considered no, and uh, details yeah. to, to to think of and um, you know hopefully in a week we'll be uh, oh, up I can't and wait up, um, ladies up and you got to check this out um, in the meantime uh, we are uh, working with Amazon to open our own store it is almost done actually we have uh, at seven o'clock uh, you know a video call with Amazon representatives oh, um, tonight goodness. tonight. Fantastic. So, um, Congratulations. Thank you. So um, in a couple of days, uh, that will also going to be live and available for people to purchase. Very nice. Are you thinking of opening an actual store where people to come into or no? Mm, it's no. It's not worth it, right? Today no, you do everything no. online. Yeah, all online. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. everybody's The word gets online, out. Uh, and this is a great product. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're going to market it to the men. <laughs> and it's going to explode. <laughs> It'll explode once the men see it. Come on. Yeah. That's I tell my wife, you know, it's for the men, not for the woman. For the yes, women to and not only that, watch. for the brides, <laughs> for showers, the yeah, brides. for the brides. I have for the the bridal amazing showers. things for the brides. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, many, many people that uh, are getting married right now, you know, they call my wife, you know, say, I need that, I need that. And they are coming sometimes from two hours away, you know, yes. um, to, to, to buy it. Right. And uh, I remember a lady, uh, you know, a week, two weeks ago was, you know, the day after was, you know, her wedding and she drove like two hours uh, from New well, Jersey. Well, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to, um, our well, place uh, to we also to do a, a, a an event with the Tranquility Spa right here in Franklin Square. It's for brides. Mm. So we might be able to talk about that, too. And we do uh, the bachelorette parties at the spa oh, nice. and they go to the spa. Mm -hmm. They go to dinner at uh, King Umberto, which is down the block, and then they come here for the drinking, and they have a, you know, like a party for the bride. So maybe, you know, when we start to do this, we're going to be doing the bridal shows eventually. Yeah, you on. might be part of it, you know, because yeah. the clothes go with the whole bride, and yeah. then you have the whole package. <laughs> yeah. So that's Very something we can yeah. talk about in the future. Yeah, I can tell you that the products are amazing, and the yeah. quality is, you know, as high as possible. Now, did you always have a, um, an idea that you wanted to do this, or you just decided one day? Yeah, I had an idea before, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, well, I love nice. the products, so we're gonna definitely keep in touch, and I think a lot of women that are watching right now, we have uh, Ed Shen, he's our photographer for the club. He does a lot of great nice, photography, nice. if anybody ever needs him. He does all our shows, and he comes, and he He's an amazing man. Mm -hmm. We have Beatrice, who's one of our major um, members at the Breakfast Club. She's mm -hmm. watching. She's saying, I love the uh, lingerie. Thank Tell you. me more. That's what she's saying. Yeah. Susan Pinky is watching. Um, she go to the Instagram. <laughs> Francis is saying, wow, I need one of those. Yeah. So <laughs> some people are, are writing in and saying some nice things. I have like 200 models, I think, in lingerie. I know. You sent yeah. me a lot of pictures. Well, I'm glad that you stopped in, and I'm glad that you, you decided to sit with us and chat. Um, I'm going to ask you just to step away for a minute, because Bob D'Amato is going to come down mm -hmm. for a minute. Okay. And we're going to talk about the restaurant, Mia's. Now, do you Thanks. cook at the restaurant, too, or no? You just visit? Uh, sometime before I cook it, yes, like uh, Indian food, uh, Asian, uh, Asian different food. foods. Yeah. When we have a catering in Manhattan. You have because what in Manhattan? 
uh, we do have caterings. Oh, you do? Yeah. So oh. we had the, the Rockefeller so uh, group, uh, you know, uh, every month, you know, well, I'm talking about before COVID. Yes. So every mm -hmm. month, you know, it's a tradition for them to have, you know, different food, you know, from our restaurant. So, um, uh, you know, my, my wife was, you know, with an international uh, food, you know, she so she was cooking, uh, like, Sometimes Chinese food, Indian everything, food, huh? wow. um, yeah. Thai food, food uh, wow. so everything you have other a than Italian. Mass a, a mass experience in cooking. Yeah, I love to cook. Yes. And but Mayas is Italian, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna introduce Bob D'Amato. If you want to come down and take a seat, Bob, can we have him sit there for a minute and then mm -hmm. you come back? Yeah. All right. Yes. So let's talk about Mayas. Look at all this food we have. <laughs> Look at this food, guys. Girls, we're having a feast when we uh, leave later. Look at this. <laughs> nice antipast, right? Yeah. All right. What is in here? Kielbasa? Um, yeah. It looks like K pork K or something. Yeah, kielbasa uh, sausage, uh, Very Italian nice. sausage. Very nice. And, this and is uh, chicken tenders. Chicken. And, uh, and then, chicken. of course, Italian bread. Now, yeah. on the show, everybody gets Italian bread from Valentina and Greg because I believe that it <laughs> Italian bread, when you break bread, that's yep. very important. So this is for you and your wife. Thank you, Valentina. And um, I, you brought us some anyway, but that's yeah. and Thank you. Bob always gets the Italian bread. <laughs> yeah. And I believe that that's how relationships form, through eating, through conversing, through all that. So that's what we give out on the, on the show, Italian bread. That I'm noted for the Italian bread because a lot of people in my book I met. Every time I meet a new client, I bring them a loaf of bread. Thank you. That's my thing. That's, that's, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's my thing. And once I started it, I never stopped. So um, so let's talk about Mia's. Tell us about we Mia's. I've been there, but not everybody we has. We have a small restaurant in... Small? That's pretty big, isn't it? Well, yeah. There are other big... It's one of my favorite places to yeah. perform. I love, I love performing yeah. at Mia's. Yeah. Uh, I'm also a customer of Mia's. Yes, me and, too. And uh, I just want to say that here, here's two things that stand out. Uh, my wife and I have been to Mia's to see this wonderful act called Hocus Pocus. They're wonderful. They've oh, been that's around a for band, isn't it? Many years. Yes. And they're one of the premier entertainment folks that go to Mia's, and they really bring a great crowd. Um, but the night I performed there, uh, many people came to see me, and they were like so impressed with the restaurant and the service. That's yeah. what they told me. Yeah. Because, Very you know, when, when they come, they're coming to see me. They didn't know the restaurant yet, yeah. but they said, oh, the food was great. And they have one of the best head waiters going, Eric. He is wo wonderful. <laughs> He's wonderful to people. And uh, Livu and his wife are wonderful to people. It's just the... It's, it's a feeling. It's a great feeling there. Yeah. Positive energy. And your and your and customers are friendly. Because yes. when I came, yeah, yeah. you know, not everybody wants to talk to you. They're all talking to me and... We just all got along so good, yeah, and yeah, it was yeah. really nice. And, and I like your bar. You have a nice you. little bar. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Great not bartender. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, yeah. yeah. He's very friendly. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and that uh, night, you know, I just want to say they a uh, couple of Levu's customers were there. They didn't know who I was. They just we were there to have dinner, and they stayed. And one woman came up to me afterwards, and she said, you know, tonight was my birthday. And I said, well, why didn't you say something? I would have sang happy birthday. And she said, it was the best night I ever had. She said, I'll be back on September 25th. Oh, so that was really, you. yeah, so that was really nice to hear that she is a customer of theirs at Mia's, and then they you enjoy, somebody, and they enjoy right. the performance, you know? Well, so. you know, the Breakfast Club follows you around <laughs> a lot, <laughs> but sometimes I can't always make right, it, but, but the girls come. I'm sure there'll be some <laughs> Breakfast Club people there that oh, night. Oh, yes. yes. Um, I yes. think I have something that night, but if the girls will probably be Well, there. pencil in October 30th. Yes, I already have. <laughs> September 25th, Mia's, October 30th, yes. Mia's. What time do you go on? What time 7 is... 7.30. Right, 730 and you have all kinds of specialties that night, right? Yeah, yeah, we always do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what's the favorite dessert at Mia's? Well, I can tell you that uh, you know, my wife was there right now. Uh, she She's the dessert specialist. <laughs> yes. She makes, you know, a great uh, creme brulee and, uh, ah. and flan. Ah. Um, in addition to, you know, other cheesecakes and tiramisu, you know, that, you know, we always have. But she's, she's primarily on, on, on this. And, uh, cream people brulee love is it. delicious. Did yeah. you ever make coffee cream brulee? Um, I heard there's such a thing. I never yeah. had it. I only asked because today's 
Special yeah. coffee, ice cream. I'm not a big cook. <laughs> 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 no? You don't cook? Or the I, wife I, does all the cooking or you have yeah. a chef? Well, we have a chef too, yeah. Yes. But I'm just the... Uh, the guy that brings the you, you put it all the together. flour to yes. <laughs> Let me say also, Tina, that we we talked about the feeling there, and it's because of Lugo and his wife. They yeah. make you feel th- it make you feel comfortable. They're very g- they greet everyone, and they go, they walk around. They talk to Family. all the customers. Yeah. It's it's yeah. just a wonderful it's feeling. Familia, yeah. that's the best thing. Yes. Familia. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> the best go. thing. And you yeah. don't have to be the same nationality. You could be all different. Yes. Because, you know, everybody helps everybody. We're well actually an international uh, restaurant and becomes the employees, yes. you know. Yes, and you have quite <laughs> a few yeah, yeah, employees yeah. and nice waiters and waitresses. Yeah, yeah. Very friendly. Yeah. And what's yeah. the uh, favorite drink over there that people like? Is it their I one specialty or not really? Well, margarita, I think, is the most yeah, popular, with the salt you know, on lem- the top. with the salt, you know. Uh, mm. I think Mitch does a good job on that, you know, and yes. Eric and uh, George, you know. Yes. Um, if everybody puts their heart in what they do, you know, yes. so that, that's, uh, that's, that's an amazing good. feeling. Yeah. And um, that brings you forward, you know. Absolutely. If you ever want to have a book tour, I could bring my book, put yeah. up my sign. We can have a luncheon and bring some people in. This is for you. This is my story. This is my book that I wrote. And we That's also, uh, at the Breakfast Club, we also publish books oh. through, the, through the Writers Club. Mm-hmm. And we have a meeting here once a month, and in nine months you have a book. Or you do it on your own through the publisher, and you have a book co- sooner. Thank and you, these Monica. are my two books for both of you, you and your wife, to read. Yeah. And someday, if you'd like, we could plan something, and I could do, we could do some publicity. And people come because they want to see the book, hear the talk, and eat. Let me know if you want to yeah, do it someday. We can do that. Yes. All right. That would be great. I I'd, being that being I'd love you're it. giving things out, I'll give uh, Lever one of my posters. Yes. If you don't mind, Tina. Is that no, okay? absolutely. Bobby Sings Bobby poster that we uh, bring to the rest of the We all share here. Thank you. Thank you. Very it. nice picture, uh, Bob. I have one for you as well. Thank you my so book much. Is fra- everything in the book is true. True stories. 80 people in the book. Wow. 80 different people. And it proves one thing. In life, you can change. You can change, you can do different career, you can add to your career, and every time you step out of your comfort zone, you grow. Yeah. See, like now, you grew again. Your yes. wife is a cook, now she's doing yeah. these beautiful... She, she's beautiful an amazing cook, actually. I want to bring I something wait. to her. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on the beginning when we met, you know, she was telling me that, you know, hey, I know how to cook, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right, you know. You never, you uh, didn't know I didn't how good know. she was, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And thi- um, so uh, I remember that um, we were um, we were at home one day with with some friends and you know we made you know the creme brulee you mm-hmm. know ourselves you know and she tasted it and she said no that, that's not uh, that's not too good you know so next time we we, we feel like getting the creme brulee no no I'm sorry it was a flan you know it was a bottle of flan um, so we did it you know I'm from Romania it was a Romanian style of flan you know. So she said, but you know, th- that's not uh, that's not too good, you know, because it was like falling apart, you know. It did it like boys only, you know. <laughs> so next time we know we were, you know, craving about, uh, you know, a flan, she did it, and everybody was just wow, really Amazing. Wow. wow, wow. And um, uh, one of my friends uh, at that time said, it, man, this is like a very top quality uh, uh, flan." Um so Adria is the grease behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what she is. And, uh, Definitely. When she made the the flan was amazing, you know. So since that day, you know, I want to thank you. Uh, oh, for what a for nice cooking, husband. For Whoa. cooking, for cooking. Giving the credit uh, to the women. That's really yeah, nice. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, so how and long is me is there? How long six are you there? Years. Six years. And w- before me is, did you have a restaurant or no? Yes, I had another restaurant. Where was that? In, uh, was in Sunnyside in Queens. Uh-huh. Um, very close to uh, 41st Street and kind of Queens Boulevard was like actually on, on Greenpoint. What was the name of it? Uh, Harmony, Harmony Terrace. Oh, I think I remember that. Harmony. Yeah, yeah Harmony. And, and that, that was, that there was for, for a while? five years. All right, and so you're uh, in the restaurant business a long time. W- by accident, actually. Really? Yeah, I'm, as I said from the beginning, that uh, um, I'm in the financial industry in telecommunications. <laughs> and, and technology, and which technology. is a lot different. Yeah, yeah. So about, about uh, I would say about like 
15, 15 years ago, uh, a friend of mine uh, uh, wanted to move to uh, California and I had a restaurant and um, it was an opportunity for me to buy it, you know. Wow. So um, that's how I got in. <laughs> so here's, here's a person accident. who reinvents himself, you right? You reinvented yeah. from, yourself. From yeah. finance to restaurant. Uh, right, right. And so now I from finance to restaurant to lingerie. Yes. What's we got we, we got to change, you What's know. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it could be something. Could next. be something else. Yeah, you just yeah. never know. Yeah, yeah. You never know. So That's I terrific. got uh, from technology into uh, bringing potatoes, tomatoes, yeah. and onion. And <laughs> <laughs> but he is also wonderful with people. That's yeah, that's well, yeah. that's the key. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The key is people. Yes. Yeah. People is the best. You know, the best talent. If you're a people person, your business. That's is a therapy. Grow. Yes. <laughs> That's right. And, yes. and you surround yourself with people that are yeah. giving good and maybe a little have a little bit more than you because you can learn from them. I always try to surround myself with people that are a little smarter than me and I learn a little bit more. And then I get out of my comfort zone and then I do something wacky. And I love the word wacky. Yeah. Mm. Women that are wacky, make it. <laughs> you don't have to be wacky mean. You're just wacky. You come up with wacky different nice. ideas. <laughs> wacky yeah. nice. Wacky yeah. nice. And I like that word. As a matter of fact, I have a book, The Wonderful Wacky Woman. Okay? And I read this every day. It has all different things that, you know, like sayings that, you know, always a color outside the line. That means get out of your box. Yeah. Don't stay in the box. Get out right. of the box. He's a perfect example yeah. of that, I think. And then here's yeah. another one. When life becomes a roller coaster, climb in the front seat. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. Enjoy so the ride. So this is what actually keeps me going. Believe it or not, a good friend of mine gave me this. And, we um, have to make helpful. it enjoyable. Yes. Everything yes. we do in life, yes. you know, we got to make it enjoyable. Yes. Yes. Exactly. If you don't do that, you know, it's not worth it. Exactly. Yeah, if you, go, if you li leave your job every day like this, you yeah. know, yeah. and you're like, oh, then you're not yeah. happy. Yeah. You know, and... Go through something horrible, and you will get very happy That's once right. you turn the corner. Yeah. And you'll s you'll read when you see all the stories in the book. These are people that went through tough times, and now that we're in the COVID, you people that are out there feeling a little blue, wake up, get up, show up, call the breakfast club, yes. come see the one hundred women that love Long Island. You know that want to be here. I mean, that's going to give you power, yeah. and you don't know who you're going to meet at these things. That's how I meet all these people. Uh, most of the people I meet are in the diner. The diner. That's really unbelievable. And ma many of them that are in the story are from the diner. And Come so to Me is on uh, September 25th. Yes, definitely. And here, this yes. great man. You want right to? Right here. Yes. Yes, there you go. <laughs> well, Valentino, I do have I to I know run. you're busy. And I was going to ask you to Adria sing a, a little something um, for a minute, but no, I know you don't have time. Well, we usually do sing on the show. But yeah, today but not today. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I do want to thank Livu and his wife for having me. Me too. Me I do too. Thank you, Mama. I do love performing for people and giving people a good feeling, and that's really why I go to these places. And, and everybody, you can also contact me, and then I can get your reservations in to uh, leave Lowe and his wife. Okay. And uh, you're going to want to come on the 25th, and you want to come on in October as well. Yes, thank and, you uh, so Bob much. And Bob does a show like you love, can't believe. Yeah, we have a good time. Yeah, yeah. and, <laughs> um, you know, of course, you guys, you and your wife are going to go back to the Tranquility yes. Spa right down Always. the block. Thank we you. give that to our clients. They get to see. Have you ever been in a salt cave? Have you ever been in a salt cave? Salt cave. Yeah. Well, you're going. You and your wife are going right down uh, the block. You call them up. You breathe in there. It's beautiful. You get a massage on your feet, and oh you come out feeling terrific. There you go. You call Angela. She's our sponsor, and you try it. And we'll see who is right. You can bring a friend. So thank you, uh, thank Tina. You. And yes, uh, Levo, I'll see you, okay? Thank, thank you very you, much again. I thank really you. I appreciate, really appreciate it. it. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll bring Everybody knows that if you go into the salt water, it's a tremendous healing. And so the caves, I was in one for the first time last week, and you're breathing in the salt air, and it helps with removing toxins and things of that nature. Yeah, and if you have asthma or yep. anything like that. So maybe we should try we should try this, you know. What is yes. this? Uh, a yes. spa with a salt, salt, cave. Uh, salt cave. Yes, and I gave you tickets to go. And you nice. did you get it. if you get yeah, the like massage, it's yeah. It's yeah, my wife wishes the spa, you know. Me, oh, I so you have to meet Angela. Yeah. She's terrific. It's right down the block. Yeah. You yeah. just need an appointment. You just can't show up. Right, right, right. Yeah. But definitely you tell them that you got it from the show. 
and um, they'll take very good care of you. And today we have a birthday. Stephanie Larkin, my publisher. Yes. She promotes books. She's a great lady. She plays music. She's a superstar. She does wine tastings. You name it, she does it. And um, she plays in all the churches and uh, great pianist, pianist. Happy birthday, Stephanie. Thank you for all you do for the club and all the inspiration that you give to all the people that write a book. And when you write a book, your life opens. You could be writing about your business, your charities, your birds, whatever. It's not that you write a book to make money. You write a book to change and, and grow and grow. And that's what and happened that's what to myself and a lot of the other women. I gave them the opportunity to write their own story. Now they're writing their own book. So instead of me writing their story, I gave everyone an opportunity to write their own. And now they're writing a book. And books really change your life. So something different. Um, I my recommend my it. My wife uh, reads lots of books, you know, actually. Okay, uh, so you'll enjoy story. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, all right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, I listen to e-books. <laughs> well, a lot of you could do that. And also, yeah. yes, you don't even have to write a book today. You can talk yes. the book. Mm -hmm. And Stephanie turns it around and makes it look as good as that. Yep. So that's what I was So thinking. thank you. And that's uh, Red and, uh, Penman Books. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. So let's get back to Monday. Let's get back to Monday. Let's get back to Monday. I have the thing. I have it right here. I'm looking at it. Showcase kickoff, September 13th, 6 to 8. So Happy the hour. The showcase is going to be on October 6th in 2022. But we kick off September 13th so that we can make sure to include as many nonprofits as possible. And we actually use it as a membership drive, the nonprofit showcase, because the members get to, or people who may be interested, get to come and meet the nonprofits. And they can hear from them right direct uh, the story that they have, the inspiration they have. We had one group that came in, um, we had Girls Inc., Oh, I love that, that group. motivates and inspires young girls in, and provides them with leadership uh, skills and training and, and inspiration mentorship programs. We had, um, we had this one group that, uh, that um, accepted donations for hair. Yes. And they needed volunteers to help separate the hair because they made wigs of natural hair for people who were having radiation or, or lost hair through uh, through a disease, and they were just amazing. And you're, you know, people think that that it's just money that they need, but people. oftentimes it's an extra set of hands, Absolutely. it's resources that you may have, and you don't even, and they're just sitting by the wayside, and you don't even know that they could be used by these nonprofits to help so many people. Right. Yeah. I mean, even uh, we've, we've uh, given a, do a grant for $2,000, and somebody said we were able to affect 50 people and bring them baskets. I Which mean, is so wonderful at the holidays mm -hmm. or not even at the holidays because there's those people that in between the holidays, yes. like from Valentine's Day you know, to Easter, there's a blank. From Easter to the... December, there's a big blank. And in November, the Breakfast Club, we do these giving events where people come and mm -hmm. bring something. And, you know, it's, you get to, you know, help people. We've had on the show uh, the last two weeks the founder of Rock Can Roll. Oh, I know Amy very well. She's she a doll. She is amazing. Yes, she is. And what they do is that when you go to a concert, you can bring. You West know, Berry some Music Fair, perishable yes. food items, and they collect them and they bring them to people who She's need them. She's amazing. But you know, if she was even talking to me and she said two things. One is that when you go to the grocery store, sometimes they even have these like four for one sales. Right. You can just pick up extra packages and, and donate them. And it doesn't even cost you anything. And she'll come to your house to pick it up. Yep. And then also she was talking about this incredible, like we all know that the Department of Labor, the federal, stopped this week. And that there was the lift on the evictions. Yes. 
Well, she was telling me that you do not understand what that means in the community, that there are people that don't have jobs, that are living four or five families together. If one of the one person was getting COVID, the whole family would be kicked out of the home and be left homeless. And you, you know, we don't think about that on Long Island as being a, a crisis. And there are these crises in every community. And these are people that help. They just give the volunteers, give, give of their time, they give of their resources. I mean, they they jump into action. Oh yeah, they that's had a team. They had a, uh, a a pallet of fresh produce that was volunteered. Well, it's fresh, so you've got to act quick. Right. They they did the telephones. Did she? She says we're we're the we're a, a group of just uh, volunteers that get it done, and well, they, they jump are, into action. Say. Get the cars mobilized. Get the produce separated out and get it delivered. I mean, it's just true. amazing. They're amazing. They're great. She's a great lady. I know her for years. Yes. And um, she has also children that are in the business of music. Yes. Music industry. Yes. So they're really, really terrific. So uh, Absolutely. I, uh, I commend her. And she just did something at Lord & Taylor before they closed. We were a part of oh, it. We can't talk about losing Lord & Taylor. Yeah, losing ta Lord & Taylor Lord is a big Taylor. thing. I grew up in Hartford, Connecticut, where they started. And I always shop for more than me more years you I want to say sales there <laughs> and I did my book in Lord and Taylor the first and only time and I said wow. I, I imagine if I could go to all the stores and then they, they are still online no I guess yes I yes you could still buy many, a few things online really yeah but not much not I just am waiting for somebody to buy the brand something's gonna happen you just because can't go on I go past my on my way to my house and it's right at the bottom of the street yeah. Oh, my Lord and Taylor. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So this has like been a great show, a lot of interaction. Yes. Um, and you know, you might want to think about stopping by next week. I don't know. I know you're a busy lady, but you should look at the website and see how many p women you, you might we meet by maybe being part of like the show part. Yes. Maybe you have a table and people come up and they can see your stuff. Mm. That's like an item everybody's gonna want. I, Let's I can, face it. I can tell you that she's always on Instagram people and she's showing me like hundreds of people that is saying in, in I about like that in, in about two weeks three weeks baby you, you, you got like you know over a thousand subscribe yeah. more That's than fantastic. that Perfect. well it's a good in, item in, in few few uh, few weeks you know and you know we we are going to be uh, organizing a holiday gift fair the first week of December oh, at, terrific. The, at the Art League. And, and this is be beautiful. Have you ever been there at the Art League? Mm, Fine art no. and high-end gift items, um, some that are handcrafted. I mean, just beautiful. Maybe we can stop over and present this. And yeah, um, you'll yeah. be in touch with each other. You have the number, yeah. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Thank yeah. you. And maybe yeah. we can, you know, you should think about having something in the restaurant one day, like a lunch or a breakfast early yeah. where women. We, we, we think about. We, if we you need help like with that, you, room, you right? let me know, yeah. you know. Yeah. I've never uh, been in this lingerie well, this business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I mean, I watching to tell from you. outside. Lingerie but is huge, guys. All right. I, 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 <laughs> You know, she proved the point right now that <laughs> many people. <laughs> okay, many people so I'll have to admit that I have a set of coffee cups at home, and one says Mr. Wright, and the other one yeah. says Mrs. Always, Always Wright. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody here just, uh, Claudia says, uh, uh, one of her first jobs was rapping at Lord & Taylor. She loved the place. She's saying, I love the dress. She's calling Thank it a you. dress. Thank it's you. not a dress. It's a beautiful lingerie item. And she's saying, is G's going to have music tonight? She wants to come and dance. <laughs> I don't think we are. Not tonight. But uh, we have a nice lineup coming up of a lot of events. We have a psychic coming. We're doing a murder mystery coming up. Uh, we have a lot of great things happening here, too, at G's. Right. So, yeah, you guys should come one night for a drink and bring your is cards. Is that what it is? Uh, it's on the weekends usually. The weekends. Well, you oh. become a friend at G's but now. You'll yeah. see it'll come on your Facebook. We do a lot on Facebook. Is that Friday and Saturday? Fantastic. or? Yeah, so and yeah. sometimes during the week too. During the week too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, my next meeting is uh, coming up in September, and the book writing is coming up too. And that's different. I mean, if you know anyone that says, I really want to write a book, you come, you get a little dinner, 
and you get motivated. And six months later, you have a book. Maybe my wife will uh, write the book. Yeah, you think so? She needs time. That's the thing. She needs to just talk the book into the mic, right? You don't yeah. have time. Yeah. Right. You need time for it. You know that. Now you're writing a book coming up soon, right? Yes, it's yeah. in editing right now. It's in editing, and uh, do you want to mention the name or not yet? It is. Uh, we we took a phrase that was um, attributed. Uh, actually to Abraham Lincoln, I think, and it was, how do you predict the future? You create it. And so we used that uh, title and we've uh, brought subject matter experts about business um, and really world renowned. Uh, the the Popular, former, right? former global chair of the Institute of Management Accountants has a chapter um, and talks about how you are, um, you know, how you use the uh, balance card for for monitoring your business. We have a global leader in turnaround management for helping businesses to pivot and to grow. Uh, Bill Corbett. I know Bill. He's a floral barker. Absolutely. Bill I know is him. I, I was raised in floral an park. Amazing public relations yes, master. He is. He has a chapter in the book to help people to understand marketing and public relations. And marketing um, is very important no matter what you do. Particularly yeah. myself. Uh, my chapter is uh, my area of expertise for over 30 years, and that's trade shows, conferences, exhibitions, and meetings. And then we have uh, uh, relationships. Noah, uh, I have to tell you, um, the owner of Ripple has a breakthrough technology for helping peer-to-peer uh, -peer human resource. Um, Which is big, because there are no more human resource managers out there. This yeah. is a peer-to-peer -peer program that facilitates and encourages growth as opposed to that old-fashioned annual review process. Oh, please, I hated those reviews. Oh, terrible. And they were never the truth. Uh, he <laughs> is, yeah, he's yeah. got a mm -hmm. system that he spent many, many, many years developing, and the research has found it to be so effective in building teams and culture and uh, people working together for the benefit of the company. So some, some great, uh, Adam Holzer, who is a young entrepreneur yeah, that I know the uh, name. Mm -hmm. relationship building and how important relationships are to uh, to growing and uh, and to life's That's journey. That's great. Yeah. Well, this has been a great yeah. great show. Today yes. we have our sponsors, Tranquility Spa. You're all going. Try it. Make an appointment. Tell them that the Breakfast Club sent you, Valentina and Greg. Uh, Seven hundred Franklin Avenue, Franklin Square. I go. Once a week, it's the best therapy for anything. <laughs> um, Aura Puro Jewelers, Teddy is the owner. It's 1033 Hempstead Turnpike. He gives me beautiful jewelry. This is one of the pieces that he did give me. He has great designer jewelry and imports. And Teddy is a great man. And he also, when you go to his jewelry store in Franklin Square, you get cappuccino. And oh. you meet about seven people while you're waiting for your jewelry. And that's where I get my clients, believe it or not. They're so <laughs> friendly. you got to stop and meet Teddy. He's the greatest man in Franklin Square. That's and good. then there's the accountant, Jackson Hewitt Prince, on Hempstead Turnpike in Franklin Square. He does taxes. He does accounting. He does a lot of different things. He helps a lot of people with tax questions. Totally great man. These are our three sponsors. We love our sponsors. We're available for any questions. If anybody wants to reach any of you, could mm -hmm. always call me, but you know their stuff is posted on Facebook. Share, like the show, think about anything you know what you want to do. If you ever want to have a private event, this is a beautiful studio, and the food is great, and we always bring in great caterers. And now we have a new one that we can pitch to Greg. And Here next you time go. you come, you'll meet Greg. He is the greatest person, and um, we just miss him, but he'll be back. And uh, we always, I always do this to him because he always tortures me and at the <laughs> end we always this is Greg's nose okay and everybody that comes on the show sometimes I ask him to ask the nose a question any kind of a question just a question about your dinner about something in the future anything your children whatever ask the nose a question 
Any question you want. What am I wearing tomorrow? Any kind of question. Is uh, my food good? What well, you know, whatever. <laughs> Maybe we, we can get together one time and go for dinner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, so yeah. <laughs> Would you like to ask the nose a question? She's like, no, I think I'll stay away from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no question. Uh, That's complete about your beautiful lingerie. Mm. No? Nah? Mm -hmm. All right, put you on the spot. I know, Laura, yeah, you, you got know. a question. <laughs> Absolutely. What's your question? So, um, will we be successful with our September 13th, Lucky 13? Lucky 13. Open house. And guess and what? And sponsors recognition. Greg had a bar before this called Lucky 13. How do you like oh that? Oh, my Lama. goodness. That's a Absolutely. Down the block. That's but he's, he doesn't own it anymore, sold it. I agree. You're going to be. See, you're going to be lucky. There you go. And the lucky 13, that's weird because you didn't know that. No, I did not. That is what you call karma. Yeah. yeah and on that is, note, true, yeah. I want to thank you for coming. Happy birthday, Stephanie. I'll see you at the barbecue. Oh boy. And that thank is you. a wrap.